Hi everyone, Brian Altano here from IGN and this is our spring update for the top 25 Wii U games of 2017. Want to know which game clocked in at number 1? Well, then let's get started. New Super Luigi U is a special platformer dedicated to the high jumping and much less nimble Mario Brother. But NSLU did more than simply toss Luigi out of the limelight, Nintendo used it as an opportunity to remind us just how hardcore a platformer can get. Affordable Space Adventures takes an ambient trip to the stars and turns it into a stealth trek through a hostile alien world. It's an intimidating adventure, but each time a new ship ability opened up, we got to use it to solve another intelligently designed puzzle and sneak further into its labyrinth levels. It's a fun single player game, but it's a genius co-op concept where up to two friends can help pilot your ship using Wii U controllers, making it a truly unique Wii U experience. In SteamWorld Dig, you power up a robot hero by finding and collecting hidden items, opening up a sprawling game map as you progress. The genius twist is that you explore the environment by mining into the Earth itself, building your own unique in-game map filled with tunnels, mine shafts, teleporters, and more. Yoshi's Willy World continues Nintendo's tradition of taking a beloved franchise and mixing things up with an adorable and fun new style. The many yarn worlds to traverse are stuffed with fluffy charm and utilize an arts and crafty style to create thoughtful platforming puzzles that are a joy to behold, both for the casual player and hardcore collectible finder alike. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is a great platformer full of tense sequences and tough levels. Boss battles are a huge highlight and it's packed with hard to find secrets and collectibles. Peppered with rib-tickling humor and superb voice work, LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens is the best Star Wars game you can play on Wii U, or any current console. The levels are well-paced, constantly switching between brawling, exploration, puzzle-solving, vehicular combat, and cover-based shooting. The arcade-style freeform space combat stages are especially well-constructed, and seamless cooperative multiplayer make things even better with a friend. An absolutely huge roster of unlockable characters and tons of hidden power-ups guarantee you'll be going back to replay the best stages again and again. Each towering foe in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate is an endurance trial that demands coordinated teamwork. The reward? Some of the best team-based gameplay on Wii U, along with the ability to craft cool gear too. Monster Hunter has a steep learning curve, but the reward of toppling titan-sized monsters makes it all worth it. Axiom Verge is more than a tribute to its side-scrolling predecessors like Super Metroid, although it certainly isn't shy about its love of Metroid. Axiom Verge is a smartly designed adventure that offers a satisfying sense of progression thanks to new weapons, abilities, and memorable bosses to battle always being thrown into the mix. And the game's brilliant glitch gun adds a welcome twist to exploration, introducing an inventive and fun reason to give backtracking meaning to the game's journey. While it may not necessarily unseat the classics that came before it, Axiom Verge is a worthy successor. Xenoblade Chronicles X is a massive RPG with enough surface area, subquests, and customization to keep you busy for many hours. It took me 73 hours to finish the main story, and there's still lots of things left to do in the vast, colorful world of Mira. Rayman Legends Vibrant World reinvigorated the fast and furious platformer, and it presented a game that uses Wii U's gamepad for multiplayer in fun ways. Colorful, distinct, and full of silly ideas, Rayman Legends is a reminder that 2D platformers can still be chock full of fun. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is part adorable platformer, part Rubik's Cube. The result is a smart, charming puzzle game that's remarkably fresh and doesn't lose a single step even though its main characters can't jump an inch off the ground. Nintendo delivered yet another fun platformer with New Super Mario Bros. U. It challenged players with fresh ideas its predecessors possibly lacked, the bonus challenge mode gave skilled veterans a reason to sweat, and cooperative play for five people using the gamepad presented an interesting twist on a genre many accused of being tapped out of ideas. NES Remix honors classic games, but also rips them apart in devious remix challenges. It's a clever and challenging way to experience the essential retro games without just retreading the same old ground. Bayonetta 2 is a wild, stylish, and unrelenting action game that pits a wicked witch against an army of minions. Its rampant pace and off-the-wall action propel it ahead of its competitors to be one of the best action games yet made. Nintendo's take on the third-person shooter is refreshingly fun, original, and surprisingly deep. Each ink-spreading tool is built around the dual purpose of painting the ground and splatting your enemies, and its energetic three-minute matches are a colorfully chaotic burst of fun. We splashed ink in tense turf wars for hours at launch, but Nintendo's post-release content of new modes, weapons, and gear continues to keep us playing months after release. Pikmin 3 reminded us all just how special and creative Nintendo first-party games could be. The adorable Pikmin and three new protagonists presented a compelling reason to fall in love with the series all over again. 
Nintendo packaged so many cool ideas into the sequel that we couldn't help but notice its potential. Shovel Knight doesn't only understand what retro gamers want, it also understands exactly what it is, copying plentiful inspiration from the past while forming it all into its own game. It lasts longer than your typical throwback, and all of the time is well spent. It plays brilliantly, looks stunning, and sounds great. We've all spent a lot of time playing games where the goal is to kill things and break stuff down, but it's nice to finally play one themed around building something. Reshaping a pristine landscape into a new world using your own two hands is an amazingly rewarding gaming experience. And Minecraft captures it all brilliantly. In 2016, Nintendo updated Minecraft Wii U Edition with the free Super Mario mashup pack, which included not only skins and textures, but an explorable map inspired by Super Mario Bros. locations and characters. Minecraft plus Nintendo equals awesome. Twilight Princess HD remains a true classic experience full of cinematic moments and some of the best bosses to ever grace the Legend of Zelda. Offering one of the most emotional and compelling stories in Zelda history, Twilight Princess mixes great combat with imaginative dungeons and locales to breathe. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD holds up as a marvelous game full of unique and wonderful moments. It's easily one of the best 3D Zelda games ever made. If you've never braved this amazing seafaring adventure, the Wii U version offers the definitive way to experience it. Nearly every aspect of Super Smash Bros. for Wii U seems fine-tuned, not only to appeal to the nostalgia of longtime Nintendo fans, but also to be accessible to new players. Once they're hooked, it draws them in deeper with a set of great modes and tempting rewards. Super Mario 3D World takes smaller steps in the grand scheme of the platform genre, but it fulfills the promise of multiplayer Mario much better than anything done before. Super Mario 3D World is marvelous, and its constant variety and fantastic co-op play proves that Nintendo still knows exactly how to tweak the Mario formula in fun ways. Mario Kart 8 is the best kart racing game Nintendo has made in a long time. It strikes a careful balance between refining old ideas and introducing new ones. And if the excellent visuals, jazzy soundtrack, and fun multiplayer aren't enough, you can also spend an awful lot of time gawking at the details in slow motion. Super Mario Maker is a unique experience that takes advantage of Wii U and Nintendo nostalgia in smart ways. It's a reverent celebration that folds three decades of Super Mario into an accessible, powerful creation suite. The focus on keeping the tools simple yet deep creates a fun and inviting environment that feels like playing a game when you're actually building one instead. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild redefines open world or sandbox games by not only creating a massive, unique world to explore, but by allowing players to do whatever they want in it. That includes running straight to the last boss. Breath of the Wild encourages climbing everything, adding an extra dimension to exploration which you won't find in similar open world adventure games like Skyrim and The Witcher 3. Houses, cliffs, trees, nothing stops you from probing Breath of the Wild's secret crammed world except your own skill. Wii U players get the same game as Switch players, but Breath of the Wild runs 720p on the Wii U versus the Switch's 900p. And there you have it, folks. That's the top 25 games on Wii U. Let us know what you think in the comments, and for more Nintendo coverage, keep it right here on IGN.